services without asking young people what it is that they want and what they need and then we're just guessing um, so really it needs to be something that's kind of created by young people and also what is right today is not necessarily correct next year or in three years time so it's important that we keep asking young people are we still getting it right what are we getting wrong and how can we do it better can you think kind of an example when knowing what a young person's wishes and feelings were to the subjects? Yeah, so I mean obviously we work with a lot of kids who are going through care proceedings and we're in court a lot. So it's important for us to be able to present the young person's views to the court and the only way we can do that is by asking them. And I worked with um, some young people who really wanted to stay with their foster carers. Um, so by being able to talk to them about that and then be able to support them in discussing that with their parents, we were able to support them to, to stay in that placement and to, to, to have that as their, um, their wishes were being fulfilled, basically. How do you think young people want to communicate their wishes and feelings? These days, young people communicate in so many different ways. Um, there's email, there's text, there's the phone, there's writing things down. Um, so it's important for us to be able to communicate in different ways with our young people to get their wishes. You know, I work with some young people who are quite happy to sit and have a conversation with me, um, whereas other young people want to write their views and their wishes down because they find it quite difficult to verbalise what they're trying to say. Right, and, and I think some of my young people won't necessarily want to take the time to sit and, and write, um, but they don't want to have the conversation face to face but they'll call me, or I'll call them, and, and they're prepared to do it over the phone. Um, or even they want to talk to their teacher, or their foster carer, or, you know, it's got to be the person that's right for them. Sometimes my young people really like me, and sometimes they don't like me. And when they don't like me, maybe they want to give their views to someone else to bring to the meeting. Yeah, and it's important that they have the opportunity to communicate in the way that's best for them. Right. 